Hello, Jeff D, AMCHealthSolutions.com for our Saturday morning weekly health and wellness video. So as we always do, we always talk about that lifestyle, have health, living that healthy, nice lifestyle, combining great foods, eating the right foods as frequently as you like, taking supplements to supplement, uh, what foods don't provide you from nutritional value. Of course, exercise, you know where I went this morning. A little shoulders, triceps, and abs at the LA Fitness here in the metro west of Boston. And of course, education and mindset. You got to have that mindset and not be so stressed out. So look right behind me here. This is Simpson Park, Framingham, Mass. And as you probably could see, man, the uh, colors, we've been talking about those colors last week by the lake. Uh, this week, we're over here by a little mini waterfall here. I wouldn't call this Niagara Falls behind me, but it's a little waterfall. So, this week, I want to talk about the supermarket, right? All right, so you go into the supermarket, and what do you always notice, right? They always say you always walk around the edges, right? That's where all the healthy foods are, fruits, vegetables, uh, to the right most of the time. And then you walk around the circumference. That's where you get meats and uh, products that are really good for you. And then right by the registers, it's in the middle, is the stuff that's really nasty, really bad for you. So what I'm going to talk this week about is the longer the shelf life, the shorter your life. And that makes a lot of sense, right? So think about food, right? And I'm going to give the, an apple as an example, right? An apple is a natural food, right? You bite into an apple, and then you let it sit for like three or five minutes. What happens to it? It turns brown because it's natural. Good food has a short shelf life. Any vegetables, you know that, right? If you buy fruits and vegetables, they have a short lifespan. But then when you go and buy cereal, peanut butter, canned goods, God forbid, like SpaghettiOs, things like that, or even soda, right? You can have it sit for years. It has a long shelf life, but that's the stuff that's really, really bad for you. Because what do you think? It's all artificial. It's all stuff that... All they care about is marketing, marketing the products, so they want to make sure it has a, sh a short shelf life. Now, think about this one, right? When you're watching football on Sunday tomorrow, check out the commercials. They are all about the crap food, the long shelf life stuff, right? They always talk about, you know, potato chips, Doritos, or they talk about soda. Hey, a good Coca-Cola commercial. Really good for you. Cool, right? Um, they might even talk about pharmaceuticals. Take this pill and this will do this. But then you have a million side effects. Think about that for a minute. All that marketing. And that's why it's all, I hate to say this, I hate to be negative about it, but it's a little bit of a marketing ploy for companies to make money is to sell and drill the nasty stuff into your brain. And think about what was the last time you saw a commercial about fruits and vegetables and eat naturally, right? Who, when was the last time you you seen that? I, I I haven't seen a commercial on TV about eating an apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. When was the last time you heard that? Maybe in the 70s? So always think about when you shop. You want to shop for foods that have a short shelf life and make the foods as you buy them. Um, and I'll give another quick story. Right? So I was I used to travel to Europe a lot for, for work. And I remember I was in Germany. And, you know, these people are like, you know, I got to run to the store and pick up dinner. I got to pick up dinner before I go home. And I was like, oh, yeah, McDonald's? You know, typical American thought there. Uh, you want a Taco Bell to pick up dinner? No, they go to the supermarket and buy fresh food every night. They'll buy, like, especially in Italy. Imagine that. They buy the fresh tomatoes. They get the, the fresh everything. Parsley, garlic. They get everything fresh and make dinner that night. And then it doesn't have much of a shelf life, right? When you make something naturally, the shelf life is a lot shorter. And you know what? Aren't Europeans a little more healthy than us Americans? We have a big obesity factor here. One in four are overweight. One, it might even be one in three overweight because we drill into that long shelf life food, which is not good for you. It's absolutely not good for you. So a couple tips let to let, 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 kind of close it out. When you buy your food, you know, if it's not natural, read the labels. 
because a lot of times the labels will tell you a lot about it. If it has a long shelf life, I'm talking over a year, really, I, I think you try to avoid foods like that because that's just food, that's going to shorten your life. And that's why, that's like cancer, uh, diabetes is skyrocketing now. It's skyrocketing through the roof because a lot of people are just eating these foods that have so many nat unnatural preservatives in it that we're just getting sick faster. It really comes down to that. Uh, you know, the government won't tell you that. Of course they won't. You know, of course they won't tell you that. Right? They're not going to tell you to eat the right foods. They're going to tell you to take a pill or get a vaccine or get whatever. And that's, you know, I don't even want to go there because that's a whole other topic. But really, when you go shopping, read the label, look at the shelf life, and really, when you go shopping, focus 70 to 80% of your shopping, when you go shopping, on natural foods. Fruits, vegetables, meats, pure meats, not not deli meat. Deli meat, hot dogs are garbage. What is it? It's all fillers. Focus on all that. Cereals are really a touchy subject with me. A lot of cereals are really bad. Uh, really check the ingredients on them. Again, if they have a short, a long health, uh, yeah, can I talk to you? Shelf life. Yeah. Get rid of it. I really focus. I love having a bowl of like blueberries, strawberries, something natural. You know, a lot of some oatmeals are really good. You know, again, check the shelf life. And let me tell you, evaluate your health after you start, you make that switch. At the end state, and you always say, what's them in the end state? You're going to have more energy. You're not going to get sick. And you're going to have a longer life. The shorter the shelf life, the longer your life. Think about that one. Have a great day. ANCHealthSolutions.com. If you're here in New England this weekend, one last tip. Get your butt outside. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Probably the best weekend of the year is right now. So take advantage of it.